Hello, welcome to the Pinkin. Uh, I'm Paddy Davitt. Um, thanks for joining us here on whatever channel you're consuming. I'm delighted to say I'm joined by uh, Via from uh, Finnish TV station. I'll just make sure I get the pronunciation right. MTV Sports. Um, and Via is going to uh, talk to us because it's his story that's breaking uh, over here in the UK uh, just before Tuesday lunchtime um, regarding... Uh, a very well-known footballer for Norwich City, Timu Puki, and potentially um, some news around where his future lies. Um, so I'll get Via to, to sort of talk us through the story, but just to recap, uh, as we all know from, from a Norwich perspective, Timu Puki, 12-month extension was taken up by the football club at the start of the summer, so he's technically contracted to, to Norwich until the summer of 2023. Um, but there's a suggestion uh, from you know people close to him in, in his camp that maybe Timu feels that the time might be right this summer as opposed to 2023. So, Via, just um, you, you've spoken to, to Timu's agent, haven't you? So I'll, I'll let you tell the story. Yeah. Yeah, I spoke to him and uh, he was pretty straightforward with everything. So um, the thing is, uh, uh, they feel like uh, it's a right moment to, well, not necessarily right moment to leave Norwich but uh they feel like Temu is uh, at um at a certain level uh which is required uh in the Premier League and uh they feel like uh, he's a Premier League player and uh that's why it might be uh best to you know depart Norwich I mean, in terms of uh, having spoken to his agent, I mean, have have they communicated that to Norwich? Um, did, did he did he let you know that? Have they more or less suggested that he would seize his future elsewhere this summer? Yeah, they uh, they've been having uh, talks with uh, Norwich, and uh, uh, from what I understand, uh, directly to uh, directly with uh, Stuart Weber, uh, they've been talking about. Uh, uh, the club letting uh, Timu potentially leave to another club. Of course, there's going to be a, a, some sort of uh, transfer fee involved, of course. But um, yeah, um, uh, he described that uh, the talks are ongoing as we uh, like the talks are still ongoing. Yeah. Was there any sense? Because I think from the Norwich perspective, Yes, there was that contract uh, option taken up from the club's point of view, but that might be the precursor to maybe more contract talks with Timo and his representative to to extend his stay in Norwich. I mean, did you get a sense that those were part of the negotiations or have they been part of the negotiations about maybe Timo, from the club's point of view, extending his stay here at Carrow Road? Uh, actually, no, there was no talk of uh, extending the contract uh, at Norwich at the moment. Uh, it feel, feels like the uh, the option was like a sort of one-sided club option to um, to get uh, Timu um, still uh, still playing for the club next season. But um, it feels like that wasn't the um, what what the team Timu's camp uh, really wanted. And in terms of Timu's camp, again, do, you, do they get the sense that Norwich are, are open to, to finding a solution that suits Timu, i.e. maybe, you know, if there is a deal to be made out there, that they, they would do that? Is that Has that been communicated this summer? Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's like um, the agent really uh, uh, was really open that uh, he conceded that it might be a really difficult thing to um, uh, to achieve to get to this uh, to another Premier League club because there's n uh, there's probably a not one single club that uh, is willing to uh, pay the amount uh, that Norwich value them because everyone knows that they're trying to get back to the Premier League and. Uh, um, uh, of course, the uh, the value of the promotion is uh, known by everyone, uh, especially in the UK. So, um, uh, 
from the club's point of view, I feel that uh, they really want to hold on to Temu. But uh, uh, it's really uh, interesting to see what uh, what they will what they are willing to do now with the situation as it is, because Temu has been um, like a brilliant servant to the club, and he's always done uh, what uh, he's required to do, and he's he's obviously uh, I feel like he's uh, willing to um, honor his contract, but in in the same time he. I think he wants to move on to a club that is uh, at a different level than uh, Norwich is at the moment. Did did you get any sense from speaking to, to to his representative? You know what value Norwich may attach to him, as you as you rightly say. There, it's a very if if the club don't really want to sell Timu, uh, it's a very difficult. Maybe there's a very difficult uh, figure to be reached that would make it possible. I mean, do you get any sense of where Norwich may value him in the market this summer? Uh, not in terms of numbers. Um, yeah, it, it it it's a difficult thing to even uh, um, speculate. Like how how big of a value is Temu Pukki at the moment for Norwich? Because he he's a proven goal scorer. He guarantees goals every time he um, almost every time he walks on the pitch. So it's. Um, He's almost at uh, a level that is priceless to Norwich in some ways. We can think about how uh, I don't know how 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 big of a value there is uh, for a promotion in the Premier League. Because um, yeah, uh, I, I think it's some something north of a hundred million pounds. So uh, basically, um, I don't think they can get this sort of a proven goal scorer at any price that uh, they are uh, they would get from uh, Temu Pukki who is 32 years old so that's the dilemma yeah absolutely I mean, from Timo's point of view do you feel this is um, as you say he's 32 is it maybe a financial consideration driving this from his point of view because there probably is maybe one big move left for him or is it very much as you rightly state, and as every Norwich fan would agree, the last two Premier League seasons, he has proven he can play at that highest level. Is it is it more football that, that he feels he's at that level and he wants to maintain and, and stay at that level? Yeah, I don't, I don't think that uh, anyone would argue that uh, Temu's career moves have been uh, ever motivated by, uh, by uh, financial things like money. Uh, he only wants to play at the highest possible level and from what i understand uh, uh from uh, from the information i i've got gotten from the british press the um, the contract uh in in the championship is the same value that he has had uh, in the premier league so basically he's not a um, he's, he doesn't have to take the pay cut uh even even uh, if the uh, club is playing uh, in the championship, so I don't think it's a financial thing at all. It's it's a purely like a sporting thing. He wants to play at the highest level possible, and maybe maybe he wants to find out like um, uh, how good he can be with uh, with uh, when there's like uh, players that can provide him in the Premier League because there's. Um, I don't think any anyone can argue that there um, that it there has been a problem it uh, in Norwich like uh, who who provides him after Buendia leaves, and yeah. you, you could see that last season that he didn't have that uh, um, like uh, these players that could provide him uh, with chances. So maybe he wants to find out like uh, what could he do. Uh, at a, a premier si premier league side that would have this players who would, who could you know um, get him more opportunities yeah yeah uh, did, any any sense from speaking to his representative that, that there is interest there in the premier league or, or further afield we we were under the impression there are clubs on mainland europe who have maybe made contact with his representative i mean on that aspect about potential options are there options are there is there firm interest in the player do you understand yeah from what i've gathered there's uh plenty of uh, interest 
towards uh, Temu. So uh, that's that's not the problem. Uh, the problem is probably uh, how many, uh, like, um, the, there are lots of clubs uh, that would would really want to sign Temu Pukki, but the problem is the money, like who wants to pay a lot of money for a 32-year-old player. So um, it's difficult to to uh, speculate how how many um, how many clubs there are after him. But uh, certainly there are very interested parties, even in the Premier League and, uh, of course, in mainland Europe as well. Uh, just two more, if I, if I can finish. For you. Uh, as you say, it's it's going to be if Norwich are very key, clear they want to keep Timu and they, and they have the twelve month contractual option there. If it plays out in the sense that Timu stays and that there there isn't a deal that can be made at the levels that suit all parties, um, I mean I, I think we all know the answer because we know what type of person he is. But that you you don't get the sense from speaking to his representative there would be there would, any issue there in terms of Timu if he's maybe indicated he, he wanted to move on and it hasn't happened, that he would knuckle down, as we say in England, and, and still be a, a very committed member of Norwich City next season. Yeah, uh, there's um, these things that you see sometimes when a uh, uh, player hand in transfer request and they don't come to pre-season and uh, they say, say they are on a leave or uh, on a holiday or something, that's not going to happen with them because... Uh, He's a player who values uh, uh, a lot of things besides money and and uh, fame. He he he's a family man. He, he has values that uh, he's gonna honor his contract. I don't think there's any doubt. Uh, he he'll give everything to Norwich as long as he's a, a city player. But yeah, uh, uh, yeah I wouldn't uh, worry about those uh, scenarios with them. Yeah, and just. Final, I'm going to put you on the spot. You know, as somebody who's spoken to his representative, I'm sure you've spoken to Temu in the, in the past as well and got a sense of the individuals involved. How do you feel this will play out this summer? What What's your, you know, what's your your, your, your gut instinct telling you? Yeah, um, there's a, a, like a two possible scenarios. Of course, um, Temu staying and Temu leaving, but... Uh, um, it looks likely that uh, Norwich might not uh, let him leave because uh, just because of the great value he possesses uh, in in for Norwich. Uh, the other other aspect is probably the more human side to it. Like uh, Norwich has had like four uh, four great seasons out of Temu. And he's given a lot on like everything he has for the club. Uh, I think uh, there's a this human side that uh, would. I I don't think uh, anyone could like um, argue that uh, Temu hasn't uh, earned his place at the Premier League. So uh, if uh, if the fans feel like it, maybe maybe the uh, the board would uh, you know see that side as well, and maybe find a way to uh, get some sort of a transfer fee out of Temu and uh, feel like they they can let him move on and uh, keep on playing at the highest possible level. Yeah, yeah. One thing is for certain, I think this, this story is going to run and run now over the rest of the summer. So um, I'm sure we'll be asking to speak to you again for here, if that's OK. But for today, thank you so much for your insight. Um, and your analysis and um, wish you all the best as, as we follow this story to its conclusion. Thank you. Thank you.